This is the time on Plus TV Africa, your favorite entertainment show, where we analyze the biggest story and, of course, bring you very interesting guests. But this time around, I've got my co-anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Oluwa Shankaya. Yeah, it's Hi. good. It's How good. you doing? I'm right. I'm my right. name is Elsie Godwin. I know you know that already, <laughs> but yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Don't you start by saying, Hi, my name is Elsie Godwin. I didn't do that. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, but they know. True, right? Huh? Yeah, that's say, I don't need you to tell them that's me. They know it's me. So okay. there's no other. There's no other Elsie yeah. Godwin. Like it's. Okay, but is there any other Elsie? Exactly. I'm why sure you don't need if to you check, there has to now. be somewhere. Oh, so there's uh, no other Elsie Godwin. That's what you're in saying. In Nigeria. In Nigeria. As a media personality. <laughs> <laughs> tell them, girl. So do you know any other Elsie Godwin that is a media person? If I, I'm blowing my own trumpet, why do you need me to blow your own for you? I don't, I don't understand. understand. <laughs> like, no, no, no. Marvin. Oh, you're sorry. Have to make sure they are cool. Missy Fire. Yes, yes. Get there. Yes, Get it. Yeah, Get it. Tea yeah, time. Me. Hey. Yeah, that's hey. Me. Yeah, hey. That's me. <laughs> okay, please, let's get started. All right. All right, cool. Mm -hmm. Let's get back to business. Lydia Fosson, yeah, laments over the fight against COVID-19 in Ghana. She says the focus has been more on PR than actually fighting the virus, stating that political affiliation should not matter. A part um, of her series of tweets read, this isn't a time for politics. We have to come together and fight this. It also means that we should stop using COVID-19 as a campaign strategy, end of quote. Um, speaking on the, on, on the forthcoming election, she said, but we should risk our lives to go on and stand in line to register. And please don't come and tell us other countries have done it. We aren't other countries. My parents are now forced to choose between exercising their franchise and their health, mm. end of quote. Mm. 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 I like that. Mm -hmm. She said what she said, period. Mm. Like, there's truth in it. There's truth in it. Um, we've had this conversation in so many ways. Mm. Uh, and I understand her struggle. And it brings me back to when COVID first started. That was the the biggest conversation that was going around between choosing your franchise, like she, like she said, and living life. So your business and all that, you have to also put into consideration, I feel like I'm repeating myself, but I feel like um, you have to put into con consideration that the government can't actually think about every single individual. I don't think that's what they're there for. They have to think about the masses. And when you have to think about the masses and humans stop mattering, as in like each individual stops mattering, the outcome will be different. No one can care about you. The government cannot care about your parents or an individual like they would for say like the entire mass you know so it's a very different conversation i think she was a tiny bit too harsh on the government but it is what it is and there's truth in everything that she said hmm. at the end of the day especially in nigeria i mean africa you are your own government is what i've come to realize so anything that works for you if you know deep down that you you can't afford to ease the lockdown in your personal life like the way the government has done then don't do that but hmm. it's really up to you to be able to detect how you want to live your life and how you want to what measures you want to put in place to be um, protected in this type of period but i want us to focus a bit more on the part where she said the government of ghana uh doing a uh, plain pr stunts rather than fighting the virus if uh, you have more links in Ghana. What vibe have you gotten from them? Did you? Okay, so because I, I what, really, from what we uh, see online, a lot of people have come out to say um, President Nana Kufuado has done well regarding the mm. fight against the virus. But mm. this is another angle entirely. Yeah, but we also need to consider that the election is coming up in Ghana. So, mm. in as much as they're saying they're fighting um, the COVID 19, they will be taking advantage of that to also campaign for themselves because we have people that want to go second term, we will have people that want to come back into power. So, a lot of them are actually going to these hospitals, to these places, and sharing palliatives so that people can vote for them. Like when they give you rice, they sleep in, vote for hmm. something into the rice and stuff I like that. I don't care so. now, I need a rice farm. They can, they can <laughs> sleep in whatever, vote. Mm, I don't care, just give me so rice. So, I think that's what Lydia is actually. Talking say about. talk talking about that well, people need to focus mm. on helping people but as but because i'm not there presently i really can't say firsthand because i haven't gotten any of these things and it's just but from, even the mouth. from what you've said to build on that <clears throat> conversation mm -hmm. i mean she is right but if we wanted to turn the tables on and flip it on the other side what is so wrong about doing that even if we want to come together and find some and fight a virus we don't have to be all kumbaya about it. If I have my agendas, what's so wrong about still either pushing my brand? Like if I had a brand and I wanted to give to the cause, yes, I want to give to the cause, but is, that, is, that, is it bad if I then give to the cause and push my 
Mm. My brand out there, just mm. you know, for that, like, what is so wrong with that? Even um, political affiliations. Because, affili because um, what's if, wrong if with you, that? you look at it, even when you post things on YouTube that has anything COVID nineteen, you're not allowed to make money from it mm. because it is not a joke. It is something as serious as a lot of people dying. So it shouldn't be that opportunity that would you would use to campaign campaign let your campaign but the pharmaceuticals mm. are making money from this i mean are they not selling their drugs mm -hmm. i mean I, yeah, I, and I, they're I don't saving understand lives. that idea and they're saving lives. Be, oh, it's really? it's so it's we're it's not supposed to make, make money, money to be to too. buy the medicine that will save our lives well make money through all the means and kumbaya don't buy yeah, that's, that's, because that's, you're saving like that's because more. it's a virus if that's the case then there'll be very little things that you can make money off of because everything is stemmed around human lives and it's serious for some people than it is even the vaccine we are folding our hands and waiting for when it comes out it has to be bought it's not yeah. going to be free and political affiliations will be necessary well i just i just hope i just hope um the government will do the right thing and um just know that there are a lot of people because we're we're being on the test that that's the truth and a lot of people are not even speaking about that we see numbers going up and we are under tested mm. so that is there are more people with it's, the virus it's crazy that we are it's, under tested but people don't no. believe the numbers and there are still news going around about how people are have like um some states are, are forging numbers but at the same time, we're still on that on the test. It was interesting like, to see that Delta passed Lagos State some days ago. I'm yeah. Like, wow. Okay. Okay. okay so mm. um, you guys know there's no um, what's it called now? COVID nineteen in Calabar. Mm. Right. All right. So we know, or you know? Oh, yeah, I'm telling you. Okay. Oh, you didn't okay. know that. There's... Spill the tea. Okay. So the, um, this this is a don't leave me. Sorry, sorry, <laughs> I'm doing this. Yeah. So the virus is not in Calabar. Does it mean that it cannot cross river? Hmm. The virus don't, don't leave me, don't leave me, don't leave me. But uh, don't leave you, don't leave you. <laughs> <laughs> but let's move on quickly so we don't dwell much on that. Jada Pinkett Smith and um, August Asinas, um drama is still ongoing. And um, Jada is saying what we already said. She said there's some healing that needs to happen. So she's bringing herself to the Red Table Talk. So I'm sure if uh, my of course. is I'm on that page, it's waiting. Already but how do you think it's on. going to look like? Is it going to be what we saw on Twitter? You know, she's looking at herself in the mirror. Yeah. She's very know. good. If you watch the show well, she's very good at saying a lot of things and not saying anything at mm -hmm. all. Um, <laughs> she's super good at that. It's like a talent. Mm. You feel like you know her. But, but you, you cannot don't. hold on to this babe said or this babe said. Um, mm -hmm. And I think that she's going to do a really fantastic masterpiece on that. In regards to that, she's going to tell us. Do you think she'll be ringing in August? Huh. But I don't know, Smith. you guys were not here yesterday, hmm. but um, we discussed a story I will be down for that. about August not about in line appear team denied it that they ever had a relationship. A source. Yeah, a source. A mm. PR team, actually. Okay. Who's, Who PR is, team? who's PR now? Will or um, because the first no, one Jada. I saw was that the PR team of uh, Will uh, Will is saying he did not give his consent, I'll be his blessing. And now I, I didn't see so what you guys anyway, think, do you guys I don't think, know. Do you guys think um, That's why we are waiting for the Red Table Talk. If it's going to be based on like I what I feel or I think is not lying. I think those those couples are very so because why the people are that red table. It? Ah, is their choice to deny it? Now? Yes, now. Yeah, but, deny. Uh, okay, you deny, um, right? So it's gonna be a case of where um, any denial. anywhere you go to, people will be like, nah, "Are you exactly? Are you, are you am, I, am I in time? Mm. <laughs> it's too much." Mm. And also, the people on red table talk, which is probably the most recent staffs, are saying that their relationship is a disaster. Mm. Um, that they. Um, what's it called? Will Smith doesn't want a divorce because it looks like a failure. Mm. And that, for me, if they coined it, it was a perfect coin because it fits his character. I sometimes find it a bit repulsive how obsessed he is about perfection. perfection. And sometimes it doesn't always happen. Even with his movies, you take forever and then they come out and it's not that great. Um, mm. <laughs> so like, I think um, what's he, that one? Legend. The one where he had a the younger... The one with his kid. No, oh. legend. Legend was okay. Mm. That was something. Is earth. it legend? The one, the one you just did recently, where he had a younger self. That was, was really so. Bad. I'm yet to see that one. Mm. Mm. Okay. So I think that's what that, that. There's a case of that, and that that could be possible. There is obvious documents. You know, Twitter never slips about how they did have a relationship. He was there often. And what's also interesting is that every time he was there, Will Smith wasn't there, ever. I don't know if you saw There's, the picture. There's a picture Jada's collage friend. now that is going around hey. where you see Jada with Will and then you see Jada with August and then the smile in the picture mm. with August mm -hmm. was so wow. Okay, because yeah. then also, yeah. you also have a story that's coming out of Will Smith and how Will Smith is definitely smashing some of his um, co-stars, co mm -hmm. especially Margaret. There's all these 
videos of them like there's even one that she really just jabbered and described something about the way, the the ceiling of his bedroom mm. at a cast you know like, how do you know i'm, the I'm of waiting bedroom? for this to share the picture oh, it's, on. It is, uh, mm. Mm. <laughs> okay tea time continues right after this break Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Baba? Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die, everybody feeling all right. Still make music and people are still buying. Sometimes I they look myself minimal. Are you? music is for mature-minded people. That got DM sometimes from Malawi. Like, sleeping early. Sleeping early. Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Marriage is women's big retirement plan after they are done having their phone and sleeping around. And this is um, an opinion from a Ugandan lady by the name Sharon, unfortunately okay. Godwin. <laughs> 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 That's my son name, but yeah, okay. Do you agree? Do I agree? Mm -hmm. I think that's like the most ridiculous thing I've read in 2020. I don't think it should even, we should even trivialize marriage like that because marriage is supposed to be a lifetime plan for a lot of people. Yes, yeah, so there are a lot of women that when they are done playing around and all of that, they just do for one man to get pregnant for and they get married to him or they use the um, Jaruma things and all oh, wow. of that. Marriage cannot, I don't even mm. know how you can think of marriage as a retirement plan because I think it's a lot of work. Mm. So how is that retirement? Is no, idea? Um, it's retirement in the sense that they're financial really strategic security. about the people they well, marry. Financial security the is that this That's what I'm saying, that they're, the really, they're, really, they're women that are really <laughs> strategic <laughs> about the. But, you know, if we have to flip the coin, a lot of people would rather say that it is a plan for a lot of men because it is probably when men are done with being a playboy that they just say, okay, yes, time but to down. it's time to settle down <laughs> if we flip the coin. So I'm surprised this is coming from a lady. And I went to the comment section and people are just bashing and bashing and or bashing. Or maybe that's what happens and in Uganda. Well. Mio, I did see, I think the way she wrote it kind of made it look like an insult, but I don't see anything wrong with that in me. No, it's, I don't think, she, this is what I got. The retirement plan is basically saying they're a lot more strategic about how they and end up in marriage mm. and a lot of that probably has to do with finances i don't see anything wrong with that i think any relationship i'm entering relationship friendship situationship dining ship it has to bring value it has to I'm, bring something it has to bring value i'm not gonna marry someone just based on love i would never even preach that it has to be that where we're going together i can go further with you in it if i if i'm going to be able to achieve the same thing on my own with you involved then i don't think we need to get to we need to be together i'm going to yeah, align myself. I'm going to align myself with someone that is going to open borders. And, and even the even the idea of hypergamy, aka gold digging, whatever. I, I guess gold digging is a bit more derogatory. But even the the spirit of hypergamy, where women are a lot more conscious about making sure that they engage with people who are in a higher class. Doesn't always have to be financial. It could be power or elite or status or whatever. I don't see anything wrong with it. I, I get what you're saying, that's but how she though. put it, it, it made it said, look yeah. very derogatory yeah. for women. women. So yes. you're sleeping yes. around. So yeah. are men not sleeping yeah. around? Yeah. Why is it even tagged sleeping around? Yeah. So I, I, think I think that's I think, where the problem uh, is. Yes. And I, uh, I well, think she thank made you for it look like that when irresponsible women are ready to settle down, that is what makes them irresponsible because they're exploring their sexuality. Like, what's the problem with that? That doesn't make them irresponsible. Okay, so we we should know better than to preach premarital sex we would pre uh -uh. yeah so a lot of people should only have <laughs> sex yeah so a lot of people should only have sex when they based are on, ready to get married he's director based focus on, on your first based okay, yeah, he's preaching on whatever Preacher religion you believe in but and apart from that you what if i'm not a christian and what apart from that also it is also good for yourself you don't need to stack up your body count before if, uh, are you, you are you, are you, you no, hold on hold on i don't i don't like hypocrisy 
Are you waiting for marriage? The fact that I made a mistake don't mean that oh, you're you constantly making yeah. me. Oh, you are making <laughs> <you're laughs> no, no, a mistake. No, I am in a relationship right now, and I'm a one if girl I man. If I is in a relationship on tea time, uh, um, today even just told me to bounce on. because hold I wanted on. to stop him from doing something. He said, please, in a relationship, so no in single, the relationship, let's, uh, uh, let's not uh, uh, divert this thing. In the relationship, yeah. are you celibate? In the relationship, am I mm. celebrate? Mm -hmm. um, I was for a while on so two. what happened? Um, the lockdown actually, <laughs> <laughs> quarantine, quarantine hey, made hey me God. sing, and I've asked God for forgiveness. So but this is I such a joke. Hey, for, such a like, joke. Bringing it back to more seriousness. <laughs> <laughs> this this conversation um, is there's something I don't like about women on Twitter that find it really joyful to attack other women. I think they know that there's a lot of men that degrade and mock women, especially when it comes to like having a voice and really being opinionated. People don't like that. People don't like an opi opinionated woman on Twitter. And I think a lot of women enjoy the attention of that. Yes, tell them, sis. Go, you know, like cheering on. When you see one dumbass girl, and I come and say, women bring in women down. Yeah, mm -hmm. shut, shut up. Shut, 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 shut up. So anyway, I think that's what this woman was trying to... Um, um, do, but I think she failed because there's nothing wrong with being very strategic about who you associate yourself with and how you do that. Mm. Premarital sex is still not advisable. It's, like, yeah, it's just the truth. If you do, if the truth is always bitter. If, uh, it, so it's it, fine. It, it, coming from you, it's not a truth. It's the most coming silly from, statement that you've wh made. Wh whatever, you whichever you. way you see it, that's your business. But I'm telling you about what the people need to hear right now, especially the younger generation. Okay. The people, well, uh, this so is a family not, show. Okay, it's okay. So what do they need to hear? If, uh, the floor what is they yours. need to hear is that keep your body keep yourself until you're ready to get married and as soon as you get married you can explore as much as you want and marriage should never be a retirement plan and yes you should fall in love with a guy and marry somebody because you love them not because of the why things is you, you why are is your going, advice not, not targeted because of the, the thing, women not can because you, of the you things you are going to gain from a marriage. I hope I'm, they don't listen to you, do you understand? That because they yeah, will because suffer in love if eh? you fall in love with a man who has his stuff together mm -hmm. right at the end of the day, with that love, you can build on it, and you guys can if achieve. Advise so your fellow, fellow men, leave the men alone. And yes, this 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 is across board, also to men mm. and to women. Thank you very much for your time. I okay, appreciate so, it. Okay, uh, so moving on real quick to more mm. serious issues. Um, Ed Sheeran um, joins Rolling Stone to demand governments assist those working in the live music industry in the wake of coronavirus pandemic. More than 1,500 artists have signed a joint letter warning the future is bleak for hundreds of thousands of workers in the sector. Okay, this um, mm -hmm. this makes me feel like I'm talking about Nigeria right mm -hmm. now, but yeah. Mm -hmm. This is. happened in Ghana. We thought it was a Ghanaian <laughs> thing. Now that it's happening in the UK, is and the names and the names involved the people that want this back in 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 play, right? They're they're so. I think they are Surprising. speaking for the people in the industry yeah, that the, we yeah. don't know, not for yeah. themselves. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Ed Sheeran was on one list. Yeah, that and Coldplay was number is fine, right? Oh, they're Rita very fine. Aura, Rita Coldplay, but you know, they're they're there, are, there are people Rita who, aura yeah, there are people who we call yeah, the engine enough, yeah. of the industry that wouldn't yeah. have um, access to streaming money, mm. yeah. appearance, and all that, yeah. and they, they they enjoy their lives based, based and on pay. pay but as you, but go, you know where I have a problem with this when they said without restriction. That is, they should open, like, should let concerts happen without restriction. But the virus is still there. So why are you saying without restriction? So if it was, uh, um, what's it called now? Somewhere that could occupy 10,000 people. So we should be asking for just 2,000 people to be present. We're not saying don't sell tickets, but sell just, just 2,000 people so that we can distance them as, as much as possible as we can. But if you're saying without restriction, that is, if you're saying that your capacity of 10,000, you want to pack 10,000 people together, rubbing shoulders, touching each other, and all of that, that's just the way the virus See, is going. Uh, you see, when, when you say, sorry to cut you, you see, when you say, I cannot relate, this is one of those conversations that I don't even understand where you want to take it from. Because this is in the UK that this is not the hearsay. Are... I've heard people, not even about the numbers of the virus, about the palliatives that are getting into people's accounts mm, on a regular mm. and all. So I, I, I don't understand it. I'm not going to pretend to understand it. But I know that for someone like Ed Sheeran and Coldplay and the rest of them to talk about it, it's a real thing for them. So I'm hoping that they're not also being selfish about what they are asking for, mm. especially in the light of the pandemic, like you have mentioned, because the numbers are not going down. Mm. Yeah. I, well, you have to put things into context. I think the things that the threshold that Nigeria has for struggle is mm. a lot different from the threshold that pe other people have. And so I, I think if you looked at it like that, you wouldn't be able to, like, 
understand why they're freaking yeah. out. But I think for the standard of living and where they are and context and everything, it's a lot harder for them. When I saw that restriction thing, I didn't really see it as the um, numbers. Concerts. I think it's the numbers of concerts, but I think it's more about like the organizing and what days and whatnot because um, they are letting other people open. They're letting restaurants and gyms and all that type of stuff. So um, you can say, what they, I think what they were, what, what I got from it is that they're saying, okay, don't restrict us to just weekends or one day or close at 10 or maybe, but I'm sure that whatever it is, they would still keep the social distancing. No one is even going to want to willingly put themselves in that wow, situation. Wow, you'd be anyway. amazed. People still went to Naira Mali's concert in no, You can't compare Na Na Nigerians and Malians. Are you kidding? Those, you can't. Have, have you forgotten what they call... I like how specific you made it. Say it again. The Malians, yeah. Mm -hmm. You can't compare those people. But anyway, um, I, I, I have to say that I'm very impressed as to how the celebrities really use their voices for other people who don't really have one because they can't really... F understand the situation but they're still you remember when they lifted the it. restriction a, a little bit and they started calling calling them covidiots you remember when that happened right mm. do you remember so why are you saying that the people would definitely a cold place performing and you think that people would not go because of a pandemic there are people that do not in as much as it's just you we feel like it's just in nigeria that a lot of people don't believe. no we know covidiots are a global it's a mm. global thing yeah we know that right? yeah so yeah, but come on malians are like on the higher you know yeah I just think that if they're going to throw parties, they'll put a better effort in instilling social distancing measures mm. than a lot of us here. There was not even any markings to so say, you stand here, you stand here at the Malian one. But so I would like better understanding. <laughs> okay, uh, that's how I wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching and please send your opinions via WhatsApp to 90 or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. Also watch this episode and all exclusive content on YouTube at Plus TV Africa. Please do remember to subscribe as well. Um, my thank you as always to go to my interesting co and Kirsty Fair Omai and Ife Olu Yes, that's me. And the entire production team. Um, my name is Elsie Godwin. Please do stay safe.